Hello friends, it's Thea with Gingham and Glue. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is okay. Uh, everyone's staying healthy. Um, I know of actually several people who aren't, aren't doing so well right now. So, you know, our thoughts and prayers are with them for sure. Um, I just wanted to hop on because um, I've got a couple things I wanted to show you first and then uh, I'm going to do just another uh, quick tutorial, um, watercolor tutorial. Um, but I wanted to show you, I had posted on my Facebook page uh, for Gingham and Glue uh, and I had also posted on Instagram. Um, how nicely my my tags for the 52 week ta uh, tag challenge for for um um and <clears throat> excuse me and i had finished up week three mine turned out a little bit different um i was going to do a full tag of these uh but then i had a thought you know what would be really kind of cool is to shorten it um, and lay it on, you know, maybe something that has a little significance to me or, you know, something that I really, really like. Um, so I had some, I have an old, um, that was falling apart, Robert Frost poems. Um, this is kind of the, the book page you see behind it is Robert Frost. Um, it's kind of a preface. It's the preface page to his poetry. Um, I love Robert Frost. I've always loved Robert Frost. Um, his words have always resonated with me um, in some of his poems. And so I thought I'd give a little nod to some really awesome authors, essentially. So yeah, so I backed it onto one of Robert Frost's um, book pages. And then on the back, um, I put a Mark Twain quote. I love Mark Twain. <laughs> I I like his books, but I love him um, because of the the things that he has said, whether it's in books or um, in person. He was just an amazing character. He, he really was. He was just really, really cool. So um, I decided to put a quote from him. Kindness is the language with which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. And um, I love that. I absolutely love that. And I think it's very prevalent to um, our current situation here in the United States. Um, we, we haven't had it easy, especially the last couple weeks. Um, and so, you know, I just wanted to kind of put a little bit of positivity into, into the tag challenge. So, and then I used my date stamp again um, when I finished, when I finished the tag. So, uh, and I apologize. Ugh, my hands. I've been I've been working on a one of my journals today, and um, and I'm double layered as you can see. Um, my hands are full of glue. My desk is a mess. So, but I'm sure y'all understand. So, anyway, so yeah, that was my that was my week three tag challenge, and I love it. And I'm just loving how these are stacking up. That's so cool to think I'm gonna have 52 of these, you guys. <laughs> Oh yeah. So anyway, okay. Um then um well no, I think we'll I think I'm gonna wait to show you another thing until it's completely finished and I've gotten it in the mail to the um person. It's for a it's for a swap. Um the thing that we're gonna be doing today uh, in our tutorial is for that journal. And I got to thinking that wouldn't it be cool to kind of implement some of those um, watercolor techniques that I used for the little paper clip embellishments for a pocket. So that is what we're going to do today. So I've grabbed my, my watercolors and I'm gonna set these. I've already, already got my water. Um, got my little palette here that still has some of the color on it and let me grab my my gold paints too because hopefully I'm gonna put some of that on there then we need our paint brushes and you only need a, a small 
paintbrush, nothing crazy. This is just a Crayola brand little paintbrush. I have better ones. You, I, the ones that I used in the other video were a little bit, a little bit better. And I don't know if I put them back in my paint cart or if I, I don't know what I did with them anyway. So, but I've got this and this works perfectly fine. So what I did was I took, it was a, again, a Robert Frost, um, hit one of his preface pages and, um, just backed it onto cardstock. Uh, because I wanted it, of course, to be, you know, fairly, or to thicken it up so that it's okay to, number one, paint on, and number two, um, I'm also going to be sewing around the edges and making a little hole here. Actually, while I'm thinking of it, I'm going to do that now before I, I lay any paint down. That way I know where, you know, I am actually need to paint. So let me slide this over just a smidge. Okay, so, okay, so I've got my, my half circle and all we're going to do just again, like we did with the paperclip embellishments, we're just going to be doing basic flower shapes. That's it. This is super easy, you guys, I promise. And I love it when people just go ahead and try, even though they've never done it before. Um, because they always surprise themselves with what they can actually do. Everybody can paint or draw basic flower shapes. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. That's what's great about watercolor. Um, you can just really do really cool things with it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dip into some of this purple over here, which is actually a, a mixture of two, two colors. And I honestly right now couldn't tell you what those are, but... Um, so I'm going to start over here. Um, we're going to just do just a, just a basic flower shape. It can be dark. It can be light. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be crazy. And I promise you, I am not an expert at this at all. And these would make um, these would make really great happy mail gifts for people. Okay, so I'm just going and filling in where I've already painted. I'm just gonna just drag it towards the middle. Okay, I'm gonna grab some of this darker darker purple here and I'm gonna just just kind of drop it in to the paint that's already there and this will give just kind of a really cool effect with two different two different co colors there I mean they're similar colors obviously but you've got you know kind of just a you know, you can see where, I hope you guys can see that, you know, where there's a darker and a lighter purple in there, okay? So, I'm just gonna rinse my brush brush off. I'm gonna do a dip, before I do the stems, I'm gonna do my flowers first, where I wanna place them. Um, let's see. Let's do, let's do some of this red, but I wanna keep it, kind of, I don't know, pink, pink almost maybe, just a hint of, hint of purple. Okay, so I'm going to come, and you can, you can go straight across, you can just kind of do it at an angle, you know, on either side, it's totally up to you, and I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do over here. So I'm just making round, roundish petals. 
and you can see it's very light. It's a very light color. Okay, I'm just kind of filling it, fill, filling those in. I'm gonna just do a little, a few, you know, kind of what's gonna look like in the in the background. Okay, and again. Flower shapes do not need to be perfect. Do not need to be perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and do a yellow, some sort of yellow flower. I might have to lay some more yellow down. Um, let's do, let's do something right here. So I've got kind of a, you know, a leaf shape petal. I've got some round petals. I think I'm gonna do kind of round petals with this one too. And if you need to, if you need to use a pencil to draw out the shapes, you can do that. Um, you can go back in and erase the, the pencil marks. Just be aware if you do it after the paint has dried, it's probably going to try and, depending on the paper you're using, of course, it's going to try and take up some of that paint. Um, just use your, use your paintbrush as the pencil, okay? Trust me, it's easy. It's very easy. You're just using the, the point of your, of your paintbrush, okay? All right, so I think I'm only gonna do three flowers, and then what I'm going to do next is I'm gonna do some of those vines uh, that I've done in the, if you remember in the paperclip embellishments. There was one flower and there were, there were some flowering vine and vines behind it and to the side. So I think I'm gonna do that. So I need probably some of this. I'm going to try and pick up some more yellow. Now you can use straight pigment. You do not have to mix your colors, but I will tell you, I've got some hair in that paint palette that I really don't want. Um, mixing colors gives it, gives the color that you lay down such a more interesting contrast. It's just, it's a really cool thing. Um, so you're, and you're essentially customizing your, your color. So, okay. Um, tell you what, let's do the stems first. I want to get those down and I'm going to come Right like that. I'm just making the leaves. Okay. And Of course, you can put the leaves anywhere you want. It's just a basic leaf shape, nothing crazy. Mine usually don't turn out that great. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not great at those. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So now we want. I'm gonna make the vines just slightly different. Okay little bit darker as you can see I'm just slowly adding blue into the yellow until I get the color I want and I think I'm there okay so I'm going to I'm gonna come with 
that. Okay. Got my, my little vine stems down. Um, these, these are drying fairly quickly. I still have a little bit of wetness on this flower here. You can see the shimmer. You don't ever, you can lay color into our wet paint if you want. Um, I'm going to for this because I kind of want the color to spread a little bit. But for the other two, it's fine. Those are, those are dry now. I can still put you know, whatever I want. So I'm going to put a little bit of orange into the yellow. And I think I want to, I think I want to tone it down with, let me see if I'm, I'm going to add some of this. Actually, I'm just going to do it right in there. Okay. By adding a little bit of yellow, it's toned that orange down just a bit, which is what I wanted. I'm just dabbing right in the middle there, okay? And let's see, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit in the red as well. Okay, so that one is spreading much more because it was wet, okay? So if you can see, pardon my hands, see how it, it kind of just spread out. It bled into the other color. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some red. And just with the point of my brush, I'm just kind of making little the lines okay all right okay so I'm going to keep this this color on my brush and I'm going to start making little whether they're petals or pods or you know whatever you want to do down the vines All right, so we've got some of those. I'm going to switch colors. Oh, let's see. Let's do let's do a darker a darker purple for over here. I'll just wet my brush here real quick a little bit more. When I do that on my paper towel, I'm just getting rid of just a little bit of excess of the water. You don't want to do too much. Okay, so what I'm going to do for, for the purple is I'm going to just kind of dot, kind of in a, oh, just a kind of a pointy shape, I guess. Is what you wanna, if you wanna call it that. Okay, now I'm gonna switch colors again because we've got a purple flower here, we've got purple here, we've got red over here and red over here with the flower. So we kind of want to mix that up a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna put some of the purple. I'm gonna put some of the purple into these red flowers here. And that's gonna give a little more contrast, okay? So let's do, let's do some yellow over here. 
we're going to do kind of the same thing that we did with the purple. So we're going to kind of do kind of a dot dotted. It's not really a dotted flower, but you see what I'm doing. So hopefully, hopefully you can see. Okay. So I'm just adding some of that yellow. All right. Okay. So we've got, we've got that. So this should dry, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, fairly quickly. Um, I need my I need one of my fine liner pens. The one I was using the other day. Not sure what happened to it. Let me Okay, I think we're gonna use this one. This is a Prismacolor a Fine Line Marker. Um, it's 005 is, and that's the, that's the tip. It's very, very fine. So we've got one like that. This is a 05, so it's a much fatter, fatter tip. And I don't, I don't want that, I want something very fine because you're essentially going to be sketching over these colors. So let's see, how are we doing on? Okay, so those, all of the little dotted flowers, and then we've got some of the centers of the flowers. All of those are still wet. So what I'm going to do, even though I hate doing this, on camera because it's very loud. I'm going to shoot it with my air dryer or my blow dryer. Give me just a second here. Okay. All right, give me just a sec. Sorry for the noise. So you're going to take your, your fine liner marker, whoops, wrong one. Okay. And then you're just going to go, you're going to, essentially all you're doing is just outlining what you, what you've already put down. Um, so this center, the center of the flower here, I'm just kind of making it a little, a little jagged there. Okay. And then and you don't have to like, you know, go just, you're just kind of sketching over, over the outline. Nothing too precise. You want to be loose. These are loose shapes, although I am going to kind of emphasize some of the flowers down below. Okay. So then we've got this down. Move this side away. And your leaves. And you can you know make your little vein. See it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. It's very, very, very simple. And I'm just kind of, 
I'm following the line of the stem, but again, just still sketching. Nothing crazy. And then I'm gonna just kind of emphasize the shape of those flowers. And you can make, even though you laid the paint down, you don't have to, you know, follow it exactly. Okay. So then there's this one. Keep it, keep it loose, guys. You don't need to be precise. And this allows you to, you know, you don't have to worry that it's going to, if it, you know, turns out perfectly or anything like that. It's just... You deciding what shapes you want to make and... All that other good stuff. Okay, so I'm just okay, just kind of going over that flower. We're gonna go Does not have to be perfect. Cannot say that enough. And if you're really interested in honing your, um, your watercolor skills, I mean, there are so many amazing artists on YouTube, you guys. Uh, one of my favorites, I might have mentioned her before, I'm not sure, so I apologize, um, is um, Angela Fair. Uh, she is uh, lives in Canada. She is an amazing watercolor artist. She's pretty much self-taught. Um, yeah, she's amazing. Her last name, I believe, is spelled F-E-H-R. And uh, you should go check out her her stuff because she's and she's an amazing teacher. She's very laid back. She's really really sweet. Um, I just I really like her a lot. Okay, so there is our pocket and our watercolor um, and sketching. Love it. I, think I missed a flower here. It's not perfect, but you know what? It's handmade, and that's what junk journaling is about. Is just those handmade items, right? So yeah, give it a try. Again, I'm going to outline, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and just sew up and around uh, and then I'll ink it and it'll get glued into a page uh, for my, for one of my junk journals. And yeah, so I'm really happy with that. I, yeah, I, I love doing these because they're just really freeing. Uh, to do so and of course I may probably more than likely hit it up with some of the gold paint let's do that because I love this stuff it's so cool love 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 this stuff this is some of the white gold I'm just going to get some of the excess off and I'm going to just just put it a little bit on some of the petals and this will start to come out you know fairly quickly I don't know if you guys can see that or not oops almost knocked that off 
That's going to be hard to tell. These are these are much easier to see in person versus on camera, but there it's definitely some shimmer to it. And then I'm going to add add some. I'm going to do some of the lighter instead of going to this one. We're going to go to this one. So we'll put a little bit of that in the middle. these two and then I will do some of this in the purple just a wee bit not too much just right in the center there so it gives a little bit more color and I'm also going to take this color and I'm going to just kind of just barely drag it into the leaves and the stem maybe some on the other stem and the, and the yellow flowers I'll just kind of dot it in okay put a little bit on some of the other stems yeah these these metallic watercolors are super fun Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to do on that. And that'll be really pretty. It'll give it a really pretty shimmer. So, okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I hope it inspires you to, to give it a try because it really is a lot of fun. Um, you know, and if you want to practice first, practice first. You know, whatever makes you feel more comfortable doing. But um, I'm telling you, it's just... It's re it really is easy, you guys. So, all right. That is it for me today. I am going to probably work some more on my journal um, that I've got to get out the, the door into the post, you know, get it to the post office pretty soon. And, uh, you yeah, know, work on a few other things, I think, today. So, yeah, I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your week and weekend if I don't see you again before then. And, um yeah, stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks again for subscribing. And oh, thank you so, so much to all of the new subscribers. I am just overwhelmed. Um, it just, yeah, it's just really, really cool. So thank you. I appreciate it. And if you're watching, you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will. Uh, and please give me a big thumbs up. I That really helps me out. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.